Hi there guys, this video is going to be um, about for those of you who have experienced uh, spiritual deliverance and uh, who have been trying to follow maybe people online obviously Chris LaSalle is one of the most well known uh, ones just now who have a YouTube channel who are doing deliverance uh, ministry um, Basically, through the, the Spirit of the Lord, um, I've been able to pray for people in the past. And sometimes it's words of knowledge, revelation. Sometimes it's just the sheer presence of God which drives out demons. Sometimes it's just praising the name of Yeshua that drives out demons. And that's what this video um, is going to be about because the Bible specifically talks about in Hebrew. There is no other name under heaven which ye shall be saved. And in the Hebrew it says Yeshua's name. Now, if you have a reverence for Jesus' name, that's good. But if you don't have a reverence for Yeshua's name, that's not so good. And by the logic that these people say, um, well, it doesn't matter about use, using Yeshua's name. Well, um, by the same logic, um, should we only use Jesus' name then? You know, because you'll say, well, haven't all these millions of people who have confessed Jesus as, as their Lord over the past few centuries? You know, um, they'll say, doesn't it make, make it illogical for you to introduce this name, Yeshua, and say that you must be saved using this name? That's not what we're saying. What we're actually saying is that those who are truly saved are going to be worshipping Yeshua. or well, that's what I'm saying. And I think much of the... I suppose um, it's not Hebrew roots because I... because it's uh, connected too closely with Judaism. So I, I couldn't say that I'm Hebrew roots. But if you're using Hebrew names, yes. Um, part of the Hebrew names movement, most definitely, because the Hebrew names for God, the Hebrew names for Jesus, are... Their true names, God's true name, Yote Vav -Hey, Yahweh, and his son's name, Yeshua, um, which means Yah is deliverer. He came to deliver his people from their sin. He is the Savior, the Messiah, sent by the Father. Now, does uh, this make Jesus um, an archangel? Of course it doesn't. Does this make Jesus... Um, you know, not God. Of course it doesn't, because we know that when we're born again, and we understand who Jesus is um, in heaven. According to 1 John 5, 7, he is referred to as the Word of God. And in 1 John it says, in the beginning was the Word. It doesn't say in the beginning was God, it says in the beginning was the Word. And so my testimony when I was born again, I simply asked the Lord, my Father in heaven, about the, the true name of his son. And I saw a vision of a man whose face was covered, but I just saw his eyes and they were like blazing fire. And I heard the name Yeshua being spoken. Now, I believe that um, there are certain deliverances that can only take place using the name of Yeshua. And when we start to venerate and praise the name of Yeshua, then I believe that uh, a lot of demons will leave, which previously would not leave. And you can see within Chris LaSalle's ministry, God to give him credit, I believe he's like one of those in the book of Acts who were, were water baptized, and then they were, they were going around casting demons out. And then when they came up against the stronger demons, they, they really struggled because, um, you know, they, they had to meet the apostles later on um, to get a, a true baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I believe that when, you know, we, when we confess Jesus as Lord, ask him into our life, that's the first step um, of becoming a Christian. But I really truly do think that if you use the name of Yeshua, venerate his name, praise his name during a deliverance, I think that you'll get a, a lot more response from the demons because the demons do not want to praise that name. Neither do they want to praise the name Jesus 
or the father's name, but they definitely want to uh, shift shift away from the name of Yeshua, and uh, they will get, you know, they will get uh, probably sneaky. They might get disturbed in some way, but what we got to do is just, you know, tell that person to start praising the name of Yeshua. And uh, once they can do that, I believe that's when a, a deliverance can take place. Now, I know I'm picking out Chris, Chris LaSala. Um, you know, I, I, I don't dislike the guy. I, I very much uh, um, think that, you know, the Lord is using him to a certain extent. But, you know, he has admitted that there are demons that won't come out of him. And that's because I believe that he's not... Uh, venerating and exalting the name of Yeshua and I've, I've challenged them in this before you know I could do a deliverance in Yeshua's name or the Father's name he could do a deliverance on me in Jesus name I'm not saying I, I, I don't need prayer at all so um, you know that video has been out there now for over two years now I think but uh, you know this one goes out to my subscribers and you know, that there is a sort of a, a link, I would say, between Chris LaSalle's doctrine and the Jehovah Witnesses. You know, because the Jehovah Witnesses say that, you know, the son is, is like the Archangel Michael or he's like a created being. And this is a lie. This is a, this is a complete lie. If you can't actually um, have the understanding that Jesus is part of, of God, he is from the Father. And that the Father has one begotten son. And that there is no... Uh, female god goddesses in heaven that literally in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was god there's no there's no point in the bible that the bible teaches that at a certain point the father created the son it's, it's that they coexisted the father and the son coexisted in the beginning the word and god himself the father um can't be separated and of course um that the holy spirit would have dwelled with them both, you see. Um, and so you got to understand that because the Holy Spirit is the divine presence and sustenance of the living God. Uh, and so, you know, when, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we get revelation about who Jesus Christ the Son is. We get revelation of who He is, that He is God in the flesh. And even the Apostle John says, Him who cannot confess that God came in the flesh is an antichrist, is an antichrist. And so, you know, Chrissy's doctrine is that um, he believes that Jehovah, whatever name he uses, is God, but he, he does not confess that Yeshua is also God as well, is God in the flesh. I've not heard him confess that. Um, and he says that he is... I'm not even sure if he teaches he's a created being, but, uh, well, I guess he's got so many videos out there, somebody would have to confirm that with me. But I would say that the, the offer is, is still on the table, and I just ask Chris, why don't you just start listening to praise and worship music which exalts Yeshua's name, which is biblical, in line with the Word of God, and God will deliver you of, of demons that you previously um, couldn't get out of you. That's a self-deliverance that you could do. Otherwise, yes, I will, I will, I will help anyone who um, has a problem with uh, the Hebrew names. Um, I will help them and they will get spiritual deliverance if they want to. If they really want it, they will, they will get it. Um, but uh, they must start praising and exonerating the name of Yeshua. The Messiah. Now, obviously, the work I've been involved with the past few weeks, I've been in East Africa. You've seen the videos, some of my subscribers out there, um, but not not been getting such a great response from you out there. So I've been really contemplating about any further videos that I make in the future. Um, you know, this online ministry is all you can really do is teaching. Um, but, you know, someone's real ministry is getting involved with what the Bible talks about, looking after orphans, 
widows these days, you know, women have got more rights these days than they had thousands of years ago. They can work, they can support themselves, they can support families, they can, so that they've got a lot more rights these days. Um, but so I, I just feel as if the Lord really called me to help children. And I think there's a strong blessing in that. If you can send a, a bit of money into that Patreon account, or if we can work out another way to do it, as I said on these videos, if you want to sponsor one of these families on that video, we can certainly do that. We can certainly supply you with uh, um, phone numbers that you can contact these children and speak to them and, and ask how they're doing. Because, you know, when I went out there, I, I did preach the gospel to them. Like, it, maybe it wasn't on camera um, at the time, but certainly every house we visited, you know, we, we gave them drinks, uh, bread, we, we, we gave them uh, rice and other, other foods that they, that they that would sustain them over, over the next few few weeks. But it's just the fact that the, the medication for these children is about very expensive, it's about $50. And for them to sustain, I would say, like a reasonable uh, quality of life when they've got education they've got clothes in their back, they've got food. You know, we're seeing roughly another, say, 40 or $50 per month. But, um, you know, I think if you want to even give the 50 per month to, to actually make sure they're having their um, medication, which will help their immune system. Um, and the doctor is also a Christian that we know. And so that's, that's also very good. And we have a connection with a Baptist church there. Um, in East Africa who support three AIDS orphans and so I guess the idea would be you know that the people in the surrounding area who are Catholics and perhaps Muslims um, you know we can direct that church to, to help them as well but certainly if you want to even send money so we can buy Bibles um, for these families um, then that would be wonderful I think one of the families commented that they had a Catholic covenant. That's all they had. They didn't even have a Catholic Bible. So it was like the Catholic covenant. And that grandmother had lost, I believe, about a dozen children. Um, so whatever covenant, I basically told her just to rip it up and uh, we'll, we'll give her a Bible. So, but at the moment, um, you know, it, 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 it does cost quite a lot of money to go out there get involved with the things I've been doing and there's a lot of expenses behind that and so I would be appreciative if any of you could, could help out that would be wonderful um, you know I don't just have this YouTube channel so I can just appeal for money I've never done that like for anything I've been involved with but I, th I think this is important and um, for the AIDS orphans you can pray for them for, for healing for them as well we did pray with almost all of them uh, when we were there. I had a heavy African flu for the first uh, week that I was there and so I didn't want to hang around too much in order that they might have um, passed on any germs or infection to them. But certainly we were able to pray with them and ask God for healing uh, for them. So um, we've just been uh, in prayer about that. Also our, our friends there, um, Enoch, and uh, Jolie and uh, the rest of them that were involved in that, Dr. Douglas, um, all Christians, all born again, and um, just just eager to serve the Lord and uh, help children, which uh, I'm not sure if there's that many ministries out there which are involved in educating and helping children out there, but and I'd be appreciative of your help. Any questions, guys, just list it below. Thanks for watching.